So you beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. So Infinity Ward and Activision have come out the woodwork again and offered uh, some type of warning to cheaters and hackers in Call of Duty, Modern Warfare and Warzone because let's not be around the bush. They are out in force at the moment and it's kind of why you've seen me take a bit more of a, a step back from the game in its current guise until I see some type of um, retrospective action happening to people where they're getting banned and it starts being a real deterrent to people uh, that are hacking and cheating now are people ever going to stop hacking and cheating no it's been going on since the inception of gaming however it would be nice to see a more robust system and punishment scheme put in place by activision now for me this is why i'm not a massive fan of crossplay and when i say crossplay i'm talking about pc uh, and console crossplay i'm all for playstation and xbox having their ver version of crossplay even if you want to throw in the switch in there i don't mind but when it comes to console versus pc now this is a a, a, a box that i believe you should be able to tick or untick at your own will i don't like the thought of having to play with pc players just because of how accessible it is on a pc to be able to hack um yes there are gadgets you can get for playstations chronos maxes and all sorts of all them sorts of things but it's so much easier to do this uh with a pc now before all the salty tears end up in the comment section pc master race you just don't like pc i own a pc I own a Ryzen 9 2080 Super PC. It, it's a pretty powerful thing. And I use that to play Valorant and stuff like that. So it's nothing to do with me just disliking PC players because I'm a PC player myself. I just don't feel like I'm going to put myself through a bad experience by playing Warzone on a PC when I've got a perfectly adequate PlayStation 4 Pro to do the same thing and experience less hackers now let's go to the statement and see what has been issued by infinity ward because i'm going to break this down and give it my criticisms because i think they have been quite passive in the way they've dealt with hackers and cheaters in call of duty so number one cheating will not be tolerated more ban waves are coming if you receive a ban it is for unauthorized manipulation of game data don't fall for unscrupulous services offering cheats and modifications these are fraudulent for a list of security and enforcement policy details please visit the following website so in in that, that term um, it's it's a, a, a little bit of a threat but it's not really one I, I would like to see some literature that is really direct and zero tolerance that's something that was really big in my job um, in terms of passenger abuse the biggest deterrent we had and the biggest change i saw in the industry is when we started to have a zero tolerance attitude to people who were abusive and it's the same philosophy that needs to to be incorporated with Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone, Activision and Infinity Ward, if they catch uh, somebody cheating, hacking, and they have irrefutable evidence, that should be a hardware ban. When I say a hardware ban, I mean your PlayStation should be blocked from ever playing this game again. Your PC, graphics card, whatever, should be banned from playing this game again. Now, I'm going to be a bit sinister here, and I don't believe Activision will ever want to do that because it's counterproductive for them in terms of people on the game spending money. So it's a catch-22 situation for us, really, and it swings and roundabouts from them. They want to be looking proactive like they are banning people, but it seems as to me like they're reluctant to actually ban people correctly because people just go out there and create another account. So point two, please do not use unauthorized third party software to mod or hack. This includes tools such as hex editors uh, that equip items you have not acquired properly. We've defined this as cheating and there is no place for that in our game. This is a bannable offense and you risk losing your account. Again, going back to the, the words they are using, you risk. Now, I understand they can't go out there and ban every single cheater in Call of Duty Warzone. But when you use the words like risk, it just makes people think to themselves, oh, there's a risk involved that might be worth it. When you say you will lose your account. Now, again, 
they can't track down every hacker in the game but when you use language like that it's a much bigger deterrent because they, people think eventually they're going to catch up with me if they're saying well it's just common sense point number three unauthorized third party software includes but is not limited to aimbots war hacks trainers stat hackers um texture hacks, leaderboard hacks, injectors, hex editors, any software used use to deliberately modify game data or memory. Don't do it. This may result in being banned. Again, it shouldn't, it shouldn't may, be a maybe. You should be saying to people, you will be banned if you are caught. Just there's, there's, there's no way around it. Anyway, point number four, avoid tutorials and services that offer ways to modify your camo. Anything that suggests altering the memory on your console or PC in order to acquire new gear, items or loadouts beyond what is offered in the game is a hack and is considered cheating. We will enforce accordingly, which may result in being banned. Again, it's just it's you. You can see where I'm, I'm get what I'm getting at here. It's all passive language that are, they are using. It's almost like, oh, we found that you uh, were hacking, but on this occasion, we're just going to give you a warning. It should be flat out zero tolerance attitude from Infinity Ward and Activision in this scenario. But as I've said previously, I think it's something they like the fact that they can have someone just recreate another account and go and spend the money accordingly they that's all they seem to care about in my personal opinion and that's kind of why i've taken a step back uh, in regards to playing warzone so much lately i want to see something put in place that is much more robust than the system that we are currently experiencing because me i like to know my my when i'm beaten by someone i was beaten because they were simply out out playing me that is it i don't want to be thinking that was suspicious or knowingly know i've been war banged and think to myself wow because what's the point even playing the game if that's the scenario that you're going to encounter every i don't know one in ten games that's too much for me the occasional hacker is something i've always dealt with in call of duty and you as a call of duty fan if you're watching this has probably always dealt with and it as i've stated previously in other videos even in the professional industries like football um athletics uh, boxing there are always people who are trying to get that competitive edge who cheat so it's not just limited to gaming but we want uh, the most level playing field that we can get in terms of not having to deal with people who have got aim butts guys let me know down in the comment section do you think this is a bit soft from infinity ward and activision i personally do i think hardware bans are where it's at now uh, zero tolerance if you are caught you are done guys there are many buttons you could hit but I like a subscribe button i hope they take your fancy and as always guys don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.